Greetings, friends of our Blessed Lady. This week we turn our attention to the image of St. Justin de Jacobus on the entrance to our central shrine of the Miraculous Medal. He was an Italian Vincentian ahead of his time in his promotion of indigenous clergy in the Catholic mission in Eritrea and Ethiopia. He represents all of Mary's sons of St. Vincent who have labored in foreign missions. For an extended description of the setting for the Eritrea-Ethiopian mission and comments on the life of St. Justin, see the script below this video. You may need to click on March 27, 2018 to access the script. Just six years after Mary had appeared to St. Catherine, in 1836, the Sacred Congregation for the Propagation of the Faith commissioned him to establish the Catholic Ethiopian mission that included Ethiopia and Eritrea. One of Justin's great hopes was that some of the Ethiopian clergy would become Catholics. He insisted that all converted clergy, as well as those studying for the Catholic priesthood, remain in the Ethiopian Coptic Rite. <clears throat> they were not to be Latinized. In his approach to the development of native clergy then, Justin had anticipated by more than a century what Vatican II and Paul VI Evangelii Nunciandi would say about Catholic missiology. St. Justin had great devotion to Mary. During his first years in Adwa, Justin gave out miraculous medals to everyone he met, telling them how Mary was the mother of God and the mother of all who believed in Christ. He engaged in much charitable ministry in the name of Mary. His listeners not only noted what Justin told them about Mary, they also observed how he honored her and prayed to her. Because of this, they called him Abba Jacob Zemaria, which means Mary's Jacob. In our image, St. Justin appears clad in the garment of the indigenous people of Southern Africa. Instead of an ornate golden crozier, he holds a simple wooden staff that symbolizes his responsibility for the believers under his Episcopal care. His pectoral cross around his neck is a simple one. The two natives kneeling next to him symbolize the conflicting areas under his jurisdiction in Eritrea and Ethiopia. The older man, to the viewer's right, seems to have been a warrior who has put aside his shield and spear. The other man, somewhat younger, perhaps represents the many native vocations inspired by St. Justin. The saint's right hand is extended in a gesture of blessing and teaching. With good reason, St. Justin de Jacobus was chosen to adorn the archway to our central shrine. Not only did this Mary's Jacob promote devotion to Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal, he also embodied the best of the Vincentian missionary spirit. His converse today can look to him as their model of Vincentian zeal to spread the gospel to every nation, and as an inspiration to respect indigenous cultures where they labor and establish seminaries for the formation of native clergy. Our prayer this week is taken from the collect from the Mass remembering this great Vincentian missioner. We pray, Lord God, you gave to your Saint Bishop Justin the grace to become all things to all men in order to preach the good news to the Ethiopians. May his intercession help us to take part in the preaching of the gospel and to bring all nations to the unity of one faith by our brotherly service. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Next week, we will reflect upon the small rose window above the entrance to the central shrine. 
it portrays eight saints who had great devotion to our Blessed Lady. Thank you, dear friends, for your patronage and especially for your devotion to Mary. May you always remain close to our Blessed Lady. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you.